Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoe Software. And I want to show you how you can create a image of your bootcamp partition and then restore it onto a new bootcamp uh, partition uh, on the same Mac or on a different Mac. Um, so um, let me walk you through that process. First thing we want to do is uh, let me show you my bootcamp partition. So um, if I look at my uh, my computer, I can see that I have my Mac hard drive, but I also have my Windows hard drive. Um, and in here has all the Windows files. It's actually Windows 1903, the most recent version of Windows 10. And what I want to do is be able to create an image of that. And then what I'll do is I'll delete the bootcamp partition from this, this machine, create a new one, and then restore onto it. So I can either save this image and take it to a new machine and restore it, or I can just uh, delete the bootcamp partition and restore it on there. So let me show you how that works. First thing I'll do is I'll create the image of this bootcamp partition. So I'll select the Windows uh, um, partition I just showed you, and I'll click on Save. And, uh, and I will call this Windows 10 transfer. Okay, and I'll save that onto my desktop. You could also save it onto an external drive or to another partition or something like that. We do recommend that you save it to a, a Mac formatted um, drive because uh, that allows for larger files and is natively supported by the Mac. So um, I'll let that go ahead and finish saving and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to uh, delete the bootcamp partition, create a new one, and then continue on from there. Okay, the image has now been created. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, erase the uh, current bootcamp partition and create a new one from scratch. So I'll open up Disk Utility. And you can see here that I have, uh, this is the normal view of it, a Mac and a Windows partition. So I'll just click on this, uh, click on the Windows partition and click on the partition button, select my bootcamp partition and hit the minus sign. And I'll hit uh, partition. Okay, the bootcamp partition has now been removed. And so now we're in a situation where I only have a Mac volume. And so this is like a, it's a brand new Mac or it's a, another Mac that I've, uh, I've, I've gone into, or it could be the same one. So basically the same setup, we have the uh, single Mac volume. So in order to create a new bootcamp partition, I'll just click on partition, I'll hit plus, and then I'll drag this to decide what size I want. And so let me make it a little bit larger, which is kind of nice, a little bit more space. So I'll say, I don't know, 95, oops, nine, I can also change it here, 95 gigabytes. Okay, and we'll make this, um, you can have, you can make it anything that kind of signals that it's gonna be a Windows partition to when it can be XFAT or FAT um, is fine. So I'll just make it XFAT and I'll call this uh, new Windows. And I'll click on apply and what that'll do, it will create that new partition. It will also uh, repartition the, uh, or take the space away from the Macintosh hard drives. So it's very important that you have a, a good backup of both, um, of any of the data that's on this one, because if the partitioning goes wrong, um, you could potentially have data loss. Um, so, it, because it is repartitioning the disk. Okay. the. Bootcamp partition has now been created. It's actually just a separate partition that is uh, um, XFAT formatted. And you can see the name is New Windows. So you can see it's uh, 94 gigabytes free. There's no space, there's no, no uh, data on it. So we're done with Disk Utility, so I closed it. Now when I go to Restore Image, I have to choose a source and a destination. Um, the source is that one that I created, Windows 10 Transfer. And then my destination will be the new Windows. And um, I just go through and select Restore, and it'll start restoring the data um, from the WinClone image to that, that new partition. Okay, the bootcamp um, partition has now been restored. And if I look in, on my computer, you can see, if I go to computer, here, you can see that it's be re renamed Windows and has all my files back on it. You have the Windows directory and um, program files and the users are in there. And so now if I go ahead and reboot the machine, I will um, and boot into Windows, it'll come up and be uh, just like it was uh, when, we, when I first took the image of it. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.